Taking a live look now at the night sky from our Health Network Sky Cam. The stars in the distance are what inspire many people to become astronauts. Tonight, new documents about past astronauts have just been declassified. Our Christian Hauser sheds light on those secrets. Folks here behind me at the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force are hearing top secret details about a 60s era space program. And astronauts involved say that it could have been a game changer when it comes to the Cold War. If you're under 60, you probably never heard of the Manned Orbiting Laboratory, or MOL. It was a program run by the U.S. Air Force in the mid-60s. I don't think a lot of people know that there were other astronauts beside the NASA astronauts. We were strictly working with the military. The government sold it as a way to prove how valuable manned space stations could be for the military, but it never left the atmosphere. They developed uh, unmanned technology that does some of what we were thinking about doing. I still think uh, if we'd had humans in the loop, it would have uh, been even better. Newly declassified information shows MOL equipment could focus on tiny areas with very high resolution. It could spot a softball in a parking lot from space. Even though the program was scrapped in favor of unmanned satellites, the work helped advance several other areas. And that work led to some other things, even though the program wasn't canceled, both in uh, hardware, software technology, and the people that were on the program have also accomplished a lot after the program. Cribben says even though the program never lifted off, he's just happy to have been a part of it. I think I was doing something for the country and something for the future, so it was very exciting for me personally. Cribben still thinks having military personnel in space could serve the U.S. Reporting from the National Museum of the United States Air Force, Christian Hauser, Fox45Now.com. Want to learn more about the MOL program and what the Soviets were doing to counter that program? We've got you covered on Fox45Now.com.